It's an iconic mural on a building that's about to be, well, it, it was, it's being torn down right now. So what will happen to a work of art neighbors have come to love? We're going to talk to the artist. He's amazing. Find out about this. An old Culver Plaza Theater complex in Culver City on Washington is being torn down. Neighbors are wondering what's going to happen to this iconic mural. It's on the side of the building. They've grown to love it. No worries. The mural at the corner of Washington Boulevard and Hughes Avenue is being saved. It's going to be torn down and moved to a school. Well, joining us now is the artist who created the mural at Massey. And uh, the nice thing about this is that you can move this mural, but it's, it's the location that's so iconic, right? Well, this, it's really amazing because this is one of the few opportunities that a painting can actually be installed and then removed out, yeah. especially on that scale. It's 7,000 square feet. It's at that corridor, that yeah. Art Deco section of Culver City in Los Angeles. And it's going to be removed. Uh, panel by panel? That's right. It's, uh, it's 11 panels right now. Yeah. I think tomorrow morning they'll be complete. So anyone driving by through Culver City oh. will be the last time to see it. But the beautiful thing about this particular project is that Westside Neighborhood School, which is a local school in Los Angeles. They'll get it? They're going to get the entire awesome. painting. And then it'll beautify their campus and uh, an opportunity for the kids to see it uh, daily. Well, we're looking at the model here. What, what was different about this project? We'll look at some of your other projects in a bit. But how, how hard was that to do? Well, the beautiful thing about this particular project is that we painted it with mops and I included oh. I included students from a high school um, at uh, at a local school in central Los Angeles who helped work on a kids in an inclusion program so they mm -hmm. came in their wheelchairs we visited with them about two to three times a week and we painted these huge brushstrokes on the ground and then had it actually installed how did this all start for you Wh where did you come up with this idea well my background is in public projects sculptor a sculptor and mm -hmm. painter and I've very much like the inclusion of just about anyone who would like to participate. And it's very rare for especially kids to get involved. There's the, the There's mops, the mops, of course. Yeah. Um, but it's very rare to get kids involved in these large, high profile projects. And I've worked on big scale projects with my brother Bernie for Portraits of Hope. We have to measure uh, yes. measure your brother because yeah. he's such a big part of this. <laughs> and uh, Bernie is a great partner. And we've worked to uh, collaboratively get kids involved all over the country and actually abroad to change and transform things from blimps and airplanes, tugboats. New York City Taxi. It's called Portraits of Hope. Portraits of Hope. We're going to look at some of your other projects as we talk about that. You involve kids in hospitals because uh, we work together sure. and that's so neat that mm -hmm. you do this. Uh, what, what's your goal with that? Well, it gives an opportunity for children to get involved in really the unimaginable, especially the children in isolation. So right. children in hospital environments Looking to get up. involved and for them to actually do something that would really be unthinkable otherwise. And we take the outer skin of whatever we're doing mm -hmm. and then apply it to the surface. So the taxis, the blimps, the lifeguard towers. Airplane. It all puts a smile on your face. I know I, when I watched them put the lifeguard tower stuff up, I was like, in this Santa is the Monica. coolest thing ever. And uh, really, it's, it's, it's the kind of art that does put a smile on your face and brighten your day. Look at that the tugboat even has the it. tugboat and we have special <laughs> brushes for the children for their mouths and their feet so everyone can be included the Braille Institute we have texture paint it's really all inclusive well you amaze me Ed Massey thank you so much for coming in thank and hello to me. brother Bernie who's <laughs> such a big part of what you do as well and we just think it's it's great the way you're making our city beautiful thank you very and actually much. around the world we should say great to have you here mm -hmm. thank you